everybody, my name is Amy and welcome to Survivor. I'm so excited to show you all the different things that I have planned for you today. Um, to start off with, let's talk about what is important when you start to plan a hike. And when I say hike, I don't mean just a day trip, I also mean an overnight trip. But all of these things that we're gonna learn today are gonna be important for either a day trip or an overnight trip. Um, so the number one thing that you want to do is you really wanna make sure that you tell somebody where you're going. Um, so whether it's your mom, your dad, your brother or sister, even a friend, your grandma, whoever you think is important and whoever you think should know that information, you wanna tell them where, they're, where you're going. Um, not only where you're going, what time you're leaving, what time you'll be back, any other details that you wanna let them know. The other thing that's really important is you wanna make sure you check the weather, right? You don't wanna start hiking and then all of a sudden it starts snowing or raining depending on what month it is. So make sure you're checking the weather, make sure you have all the materials that you need. All right, everybody, now I'm gonna show you the basic steps that you need to build a shelter. Now, when you're building a shelter, there's a few things that you wanna keep in mind. The first one would be, where are you building the shelter? You wanna make sure that you're not building it somewhere in like a gully, where if it rains, there's gonna be a lot of water flow. You don't wanna get flooded out of your shelter. So we're gonna build it right here. So it's kind of close to the gully, but it's not too far on the way if you did need some water, but also it's got a nice little nook and cranny because today we're gonna to be building a shelter for our stuffed animal. Um, right, so if you're doing this in your own backyard, you don't need to build a massive shelter for you and your family to build in. This is just for fun. So we're gonna build it for Mr. Raccoon here. Um, and then we'll talk later about some other ways that you can build the shelters as well. All right guys, so here's my shelter that I built. When you saw in the time lapse video, all I needed was just some sticks and just some straw. Now, if you don't live close to a forest, that's okay. You can even do this in your own house. Now, always ask for permission, but if your mom allows and your family allows, then you could just grab like some towels or some sheets and build kind of your own shelter in your own house. You can build these as big, as small as you want. So this is my challenge for you is this week, I want you to build your own shelter. So whether you're building it for any size stuffed animal or you're building a fort in your house, take a picture, post it below, and I can't wait to see what you build. One important thing to remember when you're out and about hiking, whether it's in the woods or just any generic area that's got potential poison ivy, you wanna make sure that you're looking out for it. Now this right here is poison ivy and you can see it's got three leaves on it. And that's the main key to know that you should stay away from it. But don't forget, this can also grow on vines and grow up on trees. So you really wanna try not to be rubbing against too many things just in case you get it on your skin. And if you do, simply just go home and wash it off and hopefully all will be okay and you can just keep an eye out for anything that happens. 